One thing many users didn't anticipate while waiting for the Switch is the massive power consumption it gulps down. Unfortunately, even some content creators made the mistake of giving out their suggestions for power banks. Well, seems not any old bank will work. Stay tuned. I know everyone's waiting on the Ryzen Benchmarks overview video, and as much as I wanted to get it out, there's simply too much data to sift through, and the last thing I want to do is rush it. But don't worry, it's coming soon. It should be up by tomorrow. So on to the topic at hand. It seems The Verge mistakenly gave suggestions on Switch power banks that were based on pure speculation. Apparently, they made the assumption that because the Switch charger was rated between 5 volts 1.5 amps and 15 volts 2.6 amps, the higher number must only be used when the switch is docked in the subsequent boost and clock speed. Unfortunately, this was incorrect information, which explains exactly why multiple reviewers were having issues with the switch continuing to drain the battery while plugged into a bank. This is a really crappy place to be for The Verge, as well as their viewers. I'm not going to go on a tirade or anything, but I'm definitely sorry for anyone who made the purchasing decisions based on those recommendations. Really though, I'm pretty disappointed in the effort used in coming up with this theory. Alone, the TDP of the X1 chip, which is the most rumored chip running in the Switch, is higher than what was suggested. To top it off, assuming the bare minimum isn't smart when power draw can fluctuate while portable. And to save on efficiency with the wall outlet, I have no doubt going low for those very unintense moments helps. So where does that leave us? Well, coming from The Verge in their updated article, they stated the Switch needs the full 15 volts with a current of 2.6 amps. I believe they're ultimately keeping it safe because the official Hori car charger is only rated at 5 volts pulling 3 amps. But, don't take my word for it as assumptions help no one. That could be more for while it's not in use, though they'd get a ton of flag for that, so it's doubtful. Simply put, if you want to know that you're going to get a great charge, especially while playing intense games, looking at a bank that can get up to 15 volts and 2.6 amps is important. But personally, I'd wait until reviewers have more information and can test what works the best, as well as what Nintendo themselves suggests. This is definitely a lesson in assuming too fast and especially making suggestions off those assumptions to get quick affiliate sales. So yeah. That wraps up this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Definitely don't forget to subscribe. I've got a ton more headed your way. And as always, have a great day.